Hello Gemini, this is your J July 2018 reading. I hope it resonates. It will not resonate with all Geminis, but I'm hoping it will. A lot of you. So Gemini, July 2018. Gemini, July 2018. I do shuffle these prior. July 2018 Gemini. I do meditate on them. July 2018 Gemini. Of course, I do these different every time because I'm trying to keep it interesting. Try to explain the cards more. Leave a little bit of suspense towards the end, too. Wheel of Fortune is on your side as, it, as the beginning energy coming in. Ace of Cups, really good card. It's a brand new offer, a passionate offer, an emotional offer. It doesn't always last long, but it's there. Ace of Cups, why are you there for Gemini? Let's, let's get a crossing card for Gemini. I need a crossing card. What's crossing it? Uh, seven of Wands, maybe some, uh, someone may be a little defensive. Your goal for Gemini. The goal for Gemini. Prince of Swords in reverse. This could be your energy. Maybe you're trying to turn it around. It is air energy. It also could be an Aquarius. It also could be a Libra. I'll know more when I start clarifying these cards. But that is usually an individual. They don't have to be an air sign. Just someone taking on that energy. The Foundation for Gemini. Foundation for Gemini. Prince of Discs. Someone is in reverse. This is an earth sign. It could be a Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. They're younger. They're in, they're in reverse. Maybe you're dealing with somebody who is financially strapped or needs some guidance. In the past. In the past for Gemini. It's coming out of ruin. Ten of Swords in reverse. You've, you're coming out of ruin. Maybe you had something that didn't pan out very well and now you're coming out of it. Or in the recent past you have. In the near future. In the near future. This means the next few days, next few weeks. Depending on what the card is. Work situation. Something that's going to go on a while too. May have not happen right away, but it's coming. I'm going to lay it down four more. Flat face down because I want to clarify these others before I move forward. Ending energy taking control for all this. That's pretty good. As someone that knows how to take control. But let's find out what this Ace of Cups is first. I want more, more information. I don't know about you. Push this over a little. But you got the Ace's Cup situation. That is a good offer. That is an offer that you like. It's a positive one. It's in the upright. But someone may get a little defensive. Why? Ace of Cups. Why are you there with the Seven of uh, Wands crossing it? It may upset somebody in your household with, with this. Someone with you getting this new offer may upset your household because you got the Four of Wands in reverse. So someone may come up defensive, saying they don't like this offer you're getting. Or maybe they don't like what you're offering. But the Prince of Swords is in reverse. Why is that the gold for Gemini? Working hard with this Prince of Swords. Maybe you're trying to get turned around. Maybe you're trying to turn your situation around with hard, with hard work. Prince of, Prince of Disc in reverse is the foundation. Why is it there? Why is it in reverse? Why is it in reverse? Yeah, I'm thinking you're, you're trying to help out this person at this moment or the situation. It could be just a situation and you're pondering it. And maybe you're doing away with the old and starting with something new, a new beginning elsewhere. Because you did have a, uh, a situation that did not work in the past, even though you're overcoming ruin and betrayal. Five of swords, I mean, the ten of swords, get this right. In the past, in the recent past, in reverse, why are you there? You 
maybe you got blocked. Maybe you decide to block somebody and go forward with something else because you got the Two of Swords. It's in the upright. That's someone putting up their swords in defense sometimes. Also, it could be that someone refused to see something in the past and they had blinders on, but you might have come out of betrayal because you got the. T it's clarifying the Ten of Swords in reverse. So it's coming out of betrayal, something maybe you didn't see straight out. Now, in the near future, now usually the near future means three days, three weeks. I'm going to say this is three weeks because it is Pentacles. It is the Three of Pentacles. It is in the upright. It is a good card. Three of Pentacles. Why are you there in the near future for our Gemini? Again, it's the air energy. You'll be working with this air energy. They're in reverse, so they may be a little... Def that could be your defensive type person, too. It could be you also being defensive. It could be your energy, but it's in reverse. But there is collaboration going on, even though this Queen of Swords is in reverse. Maybe someone, like I said, is being defensive. And I get another card for the Three of Pentacles for Gemini. There's a Three of Pentacles... So I'm thinking you're, something's making an offer, okay? Beginning energy. Someone's going to defensive. Uh, could be have to do with the home, like I said. You're going to go ahead and work with it, even though maybe this Queen of Swords energy, it could be your energy, is not feeling 100% because maybe someone else is trying not to work with you, but you're going to go ahead with it, even though someone else may get a little defensive with you. Possible future outcome, the advice, Ace of Wands. It could be take things slowly. The advice, let's find out. Ace of Wands, why are you there as the advice or the possible future outcome? Ace of Wands again. I'm thinking saying, you know, it's going to happen, but you better take it slow. Don't. And the Three of Pentacles is a slow energy. You know, think before you leap. Because you got people around you not happy about you. Yeah, someone's going to feel a little left out that you're going ahead. What's coming towards you is the Six of Swords. Or it's what people are going to be thinking. Maybe you shouldn't be doing what you're doing. That's what they're thinking. Maybe you should wait, hold back. Don't move just yet. I'm getting that. You're getting like a lot of resistance, even though you got a good head on your shoulders to a certain st extent. Trying to come out of failure, you got some good ideas, but other people are a little scared of you taking this idea, you know, further. Six of Swords, what is it? Why are you there? They're afraid to maybe disrupt a happy, happily, happy, uh, happy family, happy home life. We saw that earlier. Hopes and fears for Gemini. You're hoping for wealth, Ten of Pentacles. I'm thinking a lot of this is financial and maybe upset family and the, the loved ones around you or partners because you're going for the gold. Ten of ten of pentacles. Why are you there? It's the hopes and fears. Yeah, someone's not wanting to do it. So you're wanting to walk away from the negative, go with the positive, and, and do well. Outcome. Princess of Wands. She is in reverse. Let's find out why she's there. You may be dealing with the Princess of Wands. You're going ahead with something. You're, you're, you're going full steam ahead. But other people around you don't like you doing it. Princess of Wands. Why, why are you there in reverse as the outcome? That's, this, that's the Four of Pentacles. It's in reverse. Maybe they're not wanting you to hold back with them. Maybe they're wanting you to work with them. Because the Prince of Wands could be a fire energy. That could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. They're younger. Maybe they're no longer holding back. Maybe they're not 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 taking a careful step forward. With the Prince of Wands, she's she's not the kind of person that thinks before she acts. She's got a lot of fire energy, and she's not going to hold back. I don't know why she's your outcome, though. I mean, you're going forward with something. You're working with something. Maybe that's you getting a little offensive telling them to hold back on something. Is it? Let's find out. One more card for the Princess of Wands. 
One more card for the Princess of Wands. We want to know what's going on with the Princess of Wands. Yeah, we got the Ace and the the Eight of Wands. It's in reverse. Someone may. It's like communication is off with this person. People are getting defensive. People are not willing to work with you, but you're going ahead with it. It's like nothing's stopping you and what you want, Gemini. One more card. One more card. Just one more. Could be a lover. Could be a partnership. So Gemini is going on with what they want. People are going to disagree with you. You're going to say, I'm doing it anyway. And you're going ahead with this in July. People aren't going to like this Ace of Cups type situation. you got to hear. But they're not going to want you to take this offer. But you're doing it anyway. Whatever it is you're doing, you're going to do it anyway. Even though people may not, around you may disagree that you should do it. So that is your reading, Gemini. Full steam ahead for you. Nothing's holding you back. Bye.